what is the primary role of the nurse in preventing catheter associated urinary tract infection c a u t i your options changing catheters daily administering prophylactic antibiotics using sterile gloves during catheter insertion or maintaining a closed urinary drainage system the correct answer is maintaining a closed urinary drainage system the proper maintenance of a closed urinary drainage system helps to prevent the entry of pathogens and reduce the risk of catheter associated urinary tract infections okay so question number 28 what is the priority nursing action during a seizure episode your options restraining the patient placing the patient in a spine position inserting an oropharyngeal airway or ensuring a safe environment the correct answer is ensuring a safe environment the priority during a seizure episode is to ensure the patient's safety by moving nearby objects protecting the head and preventing injury question number 29 Dear friends you are attending the most repeated questions based on staff nurse exams and interviews if you want to get good score and pass interviews of staff nurses and this video will be very helpful so watch it completely to get ready for upcoming exams or interviews and if the video is helping you then please do like subscribe and share our channel and at the end of the video please comment your score as well let's which assessment finding indicates a potential complication of intravenous therapy your options skin warmth at the insertion site localized redness and swelling coolness and pallor of the extremity or mild tingling sensation the correct answer is coolness and pallor of the extremity the coolness coolness and pallor at the intravenous insertion site can indicate impaired circulation and may be a sign of complications such as infiltration question number 30 what is the primary purpose of romberg test in neurological assessment your options are assessing coordination evaluating muscle strength testing visual acuity or assessing balance the correct answer is assessing balance the romberg test is used to assess a patient's ability to maintain balance with eyes closed providing information about proprioception and vestibular function question number 31 what should the nurse prioritize when caring for a patient with impaired skin integrity your options are administering pain medication promoting mobility and repositioning encouraging vigorous rubbing of the affected area or applying heat packs continuously the correct answer is promoting mobility and repositioning promoting mobility and repositioning helps to prevent further damage to the skin and promotes healing in patients with impaired skin integrity question number 32 goal of suctioning a patient with an artificial airway the options are removing excess saliva maintaining airway patency promoting speech clarity or administering medication directly to the lungs the correct answer is maintaining airway patency The primary goal of suctioning an artificial airway is to maintain airway patency by removing secretions and preventing obstruction. Question number 33 Which intervention is crucial in preventing the spread of infection during patient's care? Your options Using personal protective equipment PPE administering broad spectrum antibiotics decreasing hand hygiene practice or sharing patient care equipment between patients the correct answer is using personal protective
protective equipment PPE. Using PPE such as gloves and masks is essential in preventing the spread of infection and protecting both the healthcare provider and the patients. Question number 34. What is the primary purpose of the SBAR communication technique in nursing? Your options. Providing emotional support. Documenting patients' information. Structured communication during handoffs or conducting a physical assessment. The correct answer is structured communication during handoffs. SBAR stands for Situation Background Assessment Recommendation. It is a structured communication technique used during handoffs to ensure clear and concise information exchange. Question number 35th. What is the primary purpose of using a warming blanket for a patient post-operatively? Your options are promoting relaxation, preventing hypothermia, inducing sleep or reducing pain. The correct answer is preventing hypothermia. Warming blankets help to prevent hypothermia in post-operative patients by maintaining a normal body temperature. Question number 36. Which vital sign is crucial in assessing a patient's circulatory status and oxygen delivery? Your options. Blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate or temperature. The correct answer is heart rate. Heart rate reflects the efficiency of the circulatory system and is crucial in assessing oxygen delivery to tissue. Question number 37. What is the primary purpose of cis bath for a patient with perineal discomfort? Your options are promoting urinary retention, preventing skin dryness, relieving pain and promoting healing or enhancing mobility. The correct answer is relieving pain and promoting healing. The cis baths are often used to relieve perineal pain that reduce inflammation and promote healing, especially after childbirth or surgery. Question number 38. Which intervention is essential in preventing falls among elderly patients in a healthcare setting? The options are restraining the patients to the bed, encouraging independence in mobility, keeping the environment dimly lit or using slippery floors. The correct answer is encouraging independence in mobility. Encouraging independence in mobility and providing a safe environment are key in preventing falls among elderly patients. Question number 39. What is the primary purpose of the Glasgow Coma Scale in a neurological assessment? Your options are assessing cognitive function, evaluating motor function, measuring pain intensity or assessing level of consciousness. The correct answer is assessing level of consciousness. The GCS is a neurological scale used to assess a patient's level of consciousness based on eye, motor and verbal responses. Question number 40. Which nursing intervention is essential for preventing ventilator-associated pneumonia? VAP. The options are administering prophylactic antibiotics, frequent repositioning of the endotracheal tube, maintaining the head of the bed elevated 30 to 45 degrees, administering antiparatics. The correct answer is maintaining the head of the bed elevated 30 to 45 degrees. Elevating the head of the bed helps to prevent aspiration and reduces the risk of ventilator-associated pneumonia. Question number 41. What is the priority nursing action during a seizure episode? The options are restraining the patient, placing the patients in a spine position, inserting an oro oropharyngeal airway or ensuring a safe environment. 
The correct answer is ensuring a safe environment. The priority during a seizure episode is to ensure the patient's safety by moving nearby objects like protecting the head and preventing injury. Question number 42. Which medication is commonly used as a bronchodilator for a patient with asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD? Your options are furosemide, albuterol, warfarin or metoprolol. The correct answer is albuterol. Albuterol is a bronchodilator commonly used to relieve bronchospasm and improve airflow in conditions such as asthma and COPD. Question number 43. What is the primary purpose of the therapeutic communication technique of active listening in nursing? Can you guess the answer guys? Your options are offering advice, providing reassurance, clarifying information or focusing on the patient's message. The correct answer is focusing on the patient's message. Active listening involves fully concentrating, understanding, responding and remembering what a patient is saying to establish a therapeutic relationship. Question number 44. Which electrolyte imbalance is associated with muscle cramps and cardiac dysrhythmias? Your options are hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hyponatremia or hypernatremia. The correct answer is hypokalemia. Hypokalemia or low potassium levels can lead to muscle cramps and cardiac dysrhythmias. Question number 45. What is the primary purpose of a 24-hour urine collection test? Your options are assessing kidney function, monitoring blood glucose levels, evaluating liver enzymes or assessing thyroid function. The correct answer is assessing kidney function. A 24-hour urine collection test is often performed to assess kidney function and detect abnormalities in urine composition. Question number 46. Which statement is true regarding the administration of subcutaneous injection? The options are inject at 90 degree level, aspirate for blood before injecting, massage the site after injection or use a longer needle for better absorption. The correct answer is inject at, at a 90 degree angle. Subcutaneous injections are typically administered at a 90 degree angle to ensure proper medication absorption into the subcutaneous tissue. Question number 47. What is the primary purpose of the Braden scale in nursing assessment? The options assessing pain levels, evaluating risk for pressure ulcer, measuring blood glucose level, measuring blood measuring blood glucose levels. Monitoring respiratory status. Your answer is evaluating risk of risk for pressure ulcers. The Braden scale is a tool used to assess the patient risk for developing pressure ulcers based on various factors such as mobility, moisture, and nutrition. Question 48 What is the recommended technique for cleaning a wound during dressing changes? The options are scrubbing vigorously with a sterile brush. Rinsing with normal saline, using hydrogen peroxide or applying alcohol-based solution. The correct answer is rinsing with normal saline. Rinsing wounds with a normal saline is a gentle and effective method to clean wounds without causing damage to the healing tissue. Question number 49. What is the primary purpose of the ABCDE approach in prioritizing patient care? The options assessing respiratory status, prioritizing intervention based on urgency, documenting patient's information or calculating intravenous fluid rates. The correct answer is prioritizing intervention based on surgery. The ABCDE approach is used to prioritize patient care intervention by focusing on airway, breathing, circulation, disability and exposure. Right. So question number 50, which laboratory test is commonly used to assess liver function? The options, creatinine, amylase, 
alanine transaminase alt or troponin the correct answer is alanine transaminase alt alt is an enzyme found in the liver and elevated levels may indicate liver damage or disease so friends hope this session was helpful if this session has added a value to your examination preparation or interviews preparation then please do like subscribe and support our channel and share it with your friends who are preparing for staff nurse exams or interviews it may help them and friends if you want to be more fit in the medical examination medical interviews then please visit our channel so thank you so much for watching and best of luck for your exams and interviews